little form set up on this page to take whatever I typed in this box and print it onto the page when I hit submit um, with a little label on it. And I want to use this to mess with some string functions. So if I have text, I can use various functions to examine it and manipulate it. So the first thing I can do is I can find out, oops, I can find out how long a string is with this function called string length, or strlen, and it takes as parameter a particular string, and it will tell you how many characters it has. So if I go back over here and run with some text again, oh, let me do this one more time. Spell something wrong. Yes, it's called words. All right, save that. Okay. So this is nine characters four for this, four for this, and one for the space inside. Similar function um, will count the number of separate words that I have. It looks like this str underscore word underscore count. It will use spaces to figure out how many words I have. So if I type in some text and hit submit, it tells me there's two words. Some more text, it should tell me three. There we go. Another string function I can use will look for um, the position of something within a string of text. So this is how this looks. The function is str pause. It takes two parameters. One is the thing that you want to search within, and the other is what you want to look for. So if I'm going to look for the word high, that's great. This thing, if it finds this word high inside of this string, it will return the position where it found it, starting with the value zero for the leftmost letter and increasing towards the right. It'll tell me what index it finds it at. If it doesn't find it, then it returns the value false. So that's a little bit weird. It's returning an an integer if it finds it, and a Boolean variable if it doesn't. So I want to show you how that looks. Let's say if this guy does not equal false, then let's echo where we found it. Okay. Um, and let's say otherwise, I was not found. And I'm going to show you how this works, and then I'm going to talk about a little bit of a peculiar behavior and situation that's happening. So let's say I said hi to my friend. Hi was found at 7, so the counting starts at 0 at the i, and then this hi starts at index number 7. Um, this thing will return where the first hi it finds is, so if I said that three times it'll just tell me where the first one's located okay it also doesn't care if the high is embedded in another word so I hit my head it tells me where the high in hit is now I want to show you something peculiar if I put this at the beginning and submit it tells me it was not found let's see does it also tell me it's not found if I type something that just doesn't have high in it yeah, so there's a little bit of a weird thing here, but since PHP will just switch around between types, um, to the computer, this constant false has the value zero. So if it finds the high at the first index of the string, it's going to assume, if I'm not careful about types here, that this means false. So this is one of those places where that weird three equal sign that checks for both value and type matching works. So I'm going to say if it's not equals equals, that'll mean um, it wasn't just a zero that it then is assuming means false. And now this guy should work correctly. So let's try just nope, just still not find a high in there. Yeah. But now when I say hi there, it should find it at zero. Yeah, indeed. Okay. Other string methods. Um, let's see. We've got one that will convert stuff to uppercase. So if I want to convert everything to uppercase, I can pass it in, and then this guy will return an edited version of that string. Let's try this. Hi there. There it is, all caps. Um, there is also a to lower. Oops. Okay. So let's type it in in all caps, and it should convert it to lowercase for me. Yes, indeed. Um, there is a uc first. This one's kind of cool. Let's see what this looks like. Hi there. Oh, it capitalizes the first letter of the sentence. Okay. And then there is a UC words. 
and that we'll do the same thing, but for each individual word. So let's say hi there. There, now the H and the T are capitalized, so that will put everything in proper case, which means the first letter of each word is capitalized. Um, another function that there is is to um, do a replacement of something in a string. So let's say I want to save in this new string. Um, I want to replace, uh, let's see, I want to look for hi, and I want to change it to buy in the variable called words. Okay, and then let's echo what string new looks like. Oops, I need my dollar sign, don't I? Oh, here we go. All right, let's try this. All right, hi, my friend. Bye, my friend. So the hi in this original is switched to buy, and it should do it anytime I type it, no matter how many times that is. So I can replace a bunch of stuff um, this is a real quick way to delete something also. Let's say instead of replacing the high with by, I just want to get rid of that word. You can literally replace it with an empty string and it should remove it entirely. Hi, my friend should change to just my friend. So it's been replaced with an empty string. Okay. And then the last string function I want to show you is pretty cool. Um, you're going to like the name of it. It's explode. And what it does is it takes and will turn into an array um, the pieces of the string. So the first thing you tell it is what do you want to have it split with? Um, if I wanted to split into individual words, I would use a space here um, and then I put my variable name. So let's try this with a delimiter of a space and then just to prove to you that this is an array, I'm going to print R so you can see what's in there. Um, let's try this. These are some words. All right. Submit. So here's my array in element zero is these, in element one are r, two is sum, three is words. Um, that's when I use spaces delimiter. If I wanted to get a list of something from somebody separated by commas, I could do that and use comma as the delimiter. So let's say they want to take AP bio, AP stat, AP chem. Oops. Now it should split using the commas. Let's see. Yeah, so AP bio is in zero, AP stats in one, and AP chem is in two. So that's a nice little useful um, function to split up the pieces of a string into an array so then you can handle those pieces separately.